Okay, so Eddie Hearn begs Canelo Alvarez to please pick one of his opponents. As you guys know, people have been begging Canelo Alvarez to take on some stiff competition because they no longer want to tolerate these half fights that he's been putting on. Now, I'm going to leave the link to the description box and I'm going to read three sections out of this article. So make sure that you go read the article yourself. All right, I'm going to get into it and come back with my commentary. Okay. It says, Canelo Alvarez has already chosen three duds in Rocky Fielding, Sergey Kovalov, and Daniel Jacobs since signing an 11 fight, 365 million contract with the zone. What the streaming giant needs now is quality opponents from Canelo that will move the needle like Bivol, David Benavidez, and Caleb Plant. Okay, it also goes on to say, Two of Hearn's fighters, Bivol and Andrade, would be excellent choices for Canelo's next fight. But he probably won't agree to fight either one of them. Andrade and Bivol are guys that Canelo has never shown interest in facing. And it's easy to understand why. Alvarez would likely lose to both Bivol and Andrade. The only two fighters that Hearn has a chance of Canelo picking next is Colum and Ryder. And those are fighters that Americans will not be excited at seeing. Matchroom guys like Bivol and Andrade would appear to have almost no shot at getting selected by Golden Boy Promotions to face the 30-year-old Canelo. They're too difficult in terms of size, listen now, boxing skill, and power for the 5'9 Alvarez. Mic drop. Now, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen now. Now, without a shadow of a doubt, this just didn't expose Canelo Alvarez. This exposed the Super Saiyan Canelo Alvarez fanboys. Now, you see, everybody in the boxing game can recognize that Demetrius Andrade is a good opponent for him to fight, along with Bibble, you know, is a good opponent. But yet when people suggest this, Super Saiyan fanboys come out of the woodworks trying to criticize people who just want to see a fight. I thought this was boxing. I thought you wanted to see the best fight the best. To be the best, you got to beat the best. At least that's what I've grew up being told you know but if you suggest this fight like canelo versus andrade you somehow don't know shit about boxing isn't that something now as i told y'all i unearthed the whole era of fanboyism okay this is one of the things that i you know talked about and suggested a fight and also did one video on demetrius andrade and all of a sudden, I got people wanting to debate me and talk crap and also question my boxing knowledge because I suggested that these two should fight. Now you need to question the intentions of people who shot down that fight because now they have been exposed as super narrative pushers. You know what I'm saying? Super Canelo fanboys. And maybe you are the one that don't know shit about boxing. Anybody who criticized anybody who suggested this fight as in as if they're people who don't know shit about boxing, those were fanboys. There's no way to hide now. You know what I'm saying? I've been unearthed this because when I made this suggestion and all hell broke loose and I was getting into it with Super Saiyan Canelo fanboys. After that, if you notice, certain groups all of a sudden couldn't stay friends no more. All of a sudden, people broke up. All of a sudden, people went their own way. Because I told you, there's a lot of fanboy shit going on. But it wasn't until I tapped on this door right here that people actually showed their fangs and their teeth. And then you figured out how tribal boxing really is. You know? But I had to bring this up because not that I needed to be vindicated in any kind of way. But now it's to the point where you can't deny what I said. And you can't deny what nobody else said. And the Super Saiyan fanboys are now going to have to sit in their own shit. Because there's nothing that you can do to wiggle out of this. You can't, 
You can't create excuse to wiggle out of this shit. You know, a lot of people tell you, no, it's the zone fucking with Canelo's money and blah, 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 blah. What did I tell you in my last video? That's not what's going on. OK, they don't want to pay him for bullshit ass fights. Now you see it from Eddie Hearn and the boxing world. I didn't write this article. I didn't make Eddie Hearn said what he said. Everybody recognizes from MMA on down what the hell Canelo has been doing. OK, it's unacceptable for the face of boxing. You can get upset if you want. OK, you're not built for this sport. If you want to come over here and cheerlead and fanboy and all that other shit, you're best suited for football. But this is not your sport. But to criticize anybody who ever has suggested this fight, you know what I'm saying? It shows that y'all are tribal, narrative pushers, y'all full of shit, y'all not unbiased at all, you know what I'm saying? And you just flat out, how can I say it frankly, a hoe. You're a bunch of hoes, okay, to get mad about a fight because these guys know Andrade will beat that ass. And, oh, if I'm wrong, tell him to take the fight. What's wrong with seeing the fight? Don't you want to prove me wrong? Don't you want to leave a pie sliding down my face? Don't you want to come to my channel and say, ha, ha, Bruce, you thought you know it all, ha, 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 Canelo beat him. Don't you want the opportunity to do that to me? I know you guys do, but you'll never take that chance. Like, Canelo will never take that chance, okay? Everybody recognizes it, okay? And look what all what happened because people had suggested this fight. Like I said, people didn't stay friends no more. Groups didn't stay together. You know what I'm saying? Because I knocked on a door that exposed all y'all. Now y'all sheet is up. Now the real stands out in the light and it can't be denied. Now the fake people, now you all know what you're doing. You all know that you're fanboying. Listen, and this is just the truth of the matter right here. I could not sit up on this channel and make three videos a day licking Floyd's ass. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'd be a fanboy, this, 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 that, not. I could not sit up here and make three or four videos defending Floyd Mayweather every single day, seven days a week, 365. I couldn't do it. This channel would be known as a pure fanboy channel, and I would be criticized and shit talked about all day long. I couldn't do it. But yet there's people out here who kiss this guy's ass from the rooter to the tutor. And everybody loves it and nobody says shit. But you got the nerve to criticize PBC fighters so heavily. Deontay Wilder so heavily. Uh, Floyd Mayweather so heavily. The truth is these people know that they cannot produce a Mayweather for themselves. I don't care what group you in. Everybody's mad because you can't produce a Mayweather for your tribe. That's really what it is. You can't produce one of them. And... Let me deal with this right now, because I know what people like to say. Oh, well, 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 this is their bullshit ass excuse. This is what they hide behind. Well, 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 he's just doing what Mayweather did. He just doing. Come on. We, we all seen that, right? Check this out, because this is boxing. As long as you talk boxing, you can slap down a fanboy. OK, you want to know why you can't compare that? Because any time Floyd Mayweather has been questioned about any fighter that he has fought, he rematched him. He lost to Castillo. He lost to Castillo. He rematched him in what? Beat that ass. Marcos Madonna just won a few rounds. And they was like, oh, no, no. And y'all cry? What'd he do? He fought him again, and he beat that ass. Canelo Alvarez had a controversial fight with Laura. Did he rematch him? No. But if that was Floyd, he would have rematched him and beat that ass. Oh, don't. Don't worry, Canelo fans. I'm not going to just beat up on you. Let me talk about the Manny Pacquiao fans. What about Jeff Horn? If that was Floyd, he would have rematched him and beat that ass. What did Manny Pacquiao do? Nothing. Now, I already know all the excuses that they like to produce. Well, 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 Jeff Horn was fighting dirty. You, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and this person was fighting dirty. Okay. Marcus Mondano was fighting dirty, hitting Floyd all in the nuts. Hitting them all in the nuts. Y'all didn't care. Not only that, it's a video on my channel of him taking a pill during the fight. 
Did y'all care? No. See, they don't care about dirty fighting when it's Marcus Madonna doing it to Floyd, but they'll care about dirty fighting if it's Orlando Salido doing it to Vasily Lomachenko. Oh yeah, I know, I'm on your ass today. Like I said, I get why y'all get upset at me, but I just deal in the real. That's why I'm able to slap y'all up like this, because I deal with boxing. And once you deal with boxing, people are not gonna be able to fuck with you either. But as long as you're gonna be a fanboy and push narratives and be tribal, you know what I'm saying? And that other word that began with an R, you know what I'm saying? Then you always gonna look like a dumbass. But don't worry, because people will so always support your weak ass, okay? The truth don't get no support, but you know what? The truth don't need no support, because the truth can stand on its own. Bruce Payne, I'm out.